Let's look at this example where we're going to find the probability that we select a diamond in a standard 52 card deck given that we already know the card is red. Now when I look at this we have two different approaches. Uh, one of them we can just use um, the basic uh, formula for uh, conditional probability and another approach is to look at fundamentally what, what, what are we working with when we know that the um, uh, card is already red. So I'm going to look at uh, one approach where we use what is known. Um, so we're going to look at the new sample space based on what is given. And what we want to do is we want to compare that to the um, conditional probability formula to show that you know we're going to get the same result if we use it. Okay, so in this situation we already know that the card is red, so when I look at a, a, a 52 card deck, the way it works is that um, 13 cards are diamonds, 13 are hearts, and those are our red suits. And then we also have 13 black and 13 spade. Sorry, 13 clubs, which is black, and 13 spades, which is black. So I have 26 red cards and 26 black. So I am going to be dealing with this world. I know this is already true this has happened slash hat um, let me rewrite that as this is uh, the known part so my event here find a probability that we select a diamond given that it's a red card so I look at my sample space. We only have 26 red cards. We assume each one's equal likely. And the number of ways that I can select a diamond is 13 out of those 26. So my probability of selecting a diamond given that's red is found to be one half. The other way we can answer this question is if we just go straight to the rules of probability, I can rewrite this question in terms of that notation. So I'm going to do a little kind of a, a side note here is that the probability of A given B has occurred. We write this in shorthand with that vertical line A given that B has occurred is the probability of the intersection of the two events over the probability of the given event B. Now what this ratio represents is the kind of relative size of A inside B if we kind of look at a, a Venn diagram description of what's going on. So my question here says that you know, find a probability that is diamond given that it was a red already selected. So just to kind of uh, put a little notation here I'm going to say a is the event that I select a diamond and B is the event that we select a red card. So my question is find the probability of A given B selecting a diamond given that a red has occurred says I just need to calculate these two unconditional probabilities and take the ratio. And so selecting a red diamond is the probability of A and B. So you can remember the translation here is that this is a red and it's a diamond. So if I use my um, theoretical probability says you know each card is equal likely to occur I need to figure out how many red diamonds I have over how many in my sample space. So there are 13 cards that are both red and a diamond at the same time and 52 cards in my sample space. So that probability of A and B is 13 out of 52. The other piece I need is probability of B. Probability of B again was that we're selecting a red card. So I need the number of outcomes in B over the number of outcomes in the sample space. Well, there are 26 red cards out of the 52 possible. 
So the probability of A given B is the probability of A and B over the probability of the given B. And we saw that to be the 13 over 52. The probability of B was 26 over 52. And I'll just have to simplify this, uh, this fraction. 13 times 1 by 52 over 26 times 1 by 52. We can cancel out the common factors and we get that our result, the probability of A given B, is 13 out of 26. The same way as if we had just looked at the problem and said, you know, we're only dealing with 26 red cards, 13 of those are red. Sorry, 13 of those are diamonds. So our probability of selecting a diamond given that the card is red is 13 by 26. We also get by using this general definition of conditional probability.